Hello everybody. So today we're looking at how to set up a cron job to run Scrapy in a virtual environment. And also I'll be showing how I use Scrapy to send output to PostgreSQL on a daily basis. Um, this is something that I had to do a little bit of Googling for to set up and a bit of stack overflow. So I just thought I'd share this with you. Um, sorry if it's not the most exciting video, but if uh, it's something you're looking for, then hopefully this will be exactly what you need and answer your questions. So first off, I'll just show you this, which I've just done a markdown document on my GitHub. Um, Scrapey19, I'll put the link down below. So yeah, Raspberry Pi is effectively the, the server. And what I did was I created a bash script to activate virtual environment and run the spider. So I'd written the spider and the spider was actually called jobs spider with a Z. Um, scrapey crawl job spider so that's the actual command that you would run normally but because I'd set up a virtual environment um, which is obviously best practice you'll see that on the scrapey site um, if you don't believe me I'll just show you <laughs> uh, what was it scrapey docs I can spell properly um, they recommend either Conda or virtual environment both do the same job really so um, virtual environment. recommended see using a virtual environment recommended so yeah create a virtual environment from a script so all you do really is you make a bash script which if you if you're new to Linux or obviously if you're on Windows this is slightly different but the, the concept remains if you're on Mac it should be very similar um, and what you need to do is just um, in your favorite editor uh, you would just do something like provide, assuming you've got your um, What would this be? Uh, I can't remember what I called it. I think I called it cj.sh. Yeah, cronjob.sh. You just give it a .sh file extension. Um, what you would do is you would put, you would write all of this in there, and then you would, um, what you would then do is once you've got that file, is you would then just uh, make it executable. So chmod. A plus X and then cj.sh and then you can run it so that's basically what if you want to copy this code and modify it to your own path then please do so so all you're really doing is you're just doing uh, you're setting that and then source the path to where the bin file is that gets created by your virtual environment when you run um, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with that, then it's just, uh, no, it's sudo. Um, virtual env, and then my project. And then you see all that, and if you go to my project, and do ls, then you'll see you've got bin, lib, and the config file. So, and inside bin, you'll have Um, activate so all this script is doing is it's calling activate which is that um, so once you've done that you add it to cron so you've got a text file you trim on it and then it's executable you put it somewhere sensible and yeah so then you do cron tab space hyphen e Choose your editor. I just do nano, it's fine. And um, yeah, so I, I'm doing this on my main Linux PC, but on my Raspberry Pi, I've already been in and done and edited this. So if you just um, go down to, I don't know what line number that is, but anyway, there it is. You go down to where it says, for example, you can run a backup with all of your user accounts. You'll have this when you set up, when you open CronTab. It's the default text that's already there. Um, so 
that's actually how to set up a job to run at 5 a.m. every week. Um, so if you want it to run every day, you would then just change it to five and then star, 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 star. Um, and that's the path that you, what you're actually running. So um, as you can see in mine, instead of what they've got there, um, I've done, I've told it to run um, daily at 1500 hours. Um, so no minutes past the hour, 1500 o'clock. <laughs> um, Day of, every day of the month, every day, of every every month, and every day of the week. So you see, minutes, hour. So hours that one, which is offset. Dom mon dao. So each each day of the month, each month, each day of the week, and yeah. Then you save that. So I'm just going to exit out of there. And then hopefully, if you just uh, wait. <laughs> you have to wait several days you can check it quicker than that but um so if i just go into the pi which is my effectively my server so i'm running scrapey on the server and i'll just go in as my postgres user psql to open up command line postgres connect to my jobs database which is where my listings are being saved to and then I just do select posted so posted is my variable that gets the um, date time dot today so it gets to just today's date from listings if you're not if you didn't know actually um, Postgres it's got autocomplete which is a brilliant um, group by one and that will just get me a list of the dates on which the scraper has run and saved results to the database so there we see that's taught that immediately tells me that it's been running now for three days and it's run on each of those three days so if i just if you want to see everything obviously select star from listings and yeah, there we go. It looks a bit of a mess because I'm scraping 999 characters for the text, which you might think is quite a lot, but uh, we'll get to that in, in, a, in a later visit, a future video. So yeah, those are um, Linux SysOps engineer. You're part of a dedicated hosting and support team that is responsible for deploying and maintaining infrastructure services for both Bijan and a number of our clients. Some of the day-to-day -day duties, in, uh, blah, blah, blah. So I'm actually probably going to, well, I'm hoping to run some natural language processing on this once I've done a bit of a clean up and next I'll be looking at this in pandas. So I'll be connecting to SQL for, uh, using pandas and um, trying to organize this and clean up and remove any, any garbage. So yes, a quick video and uh, just to wrap up, what we've done here is we've created a bash script to activate the virtual environment. So copy those, all of those lines into a file with a .sh file extension and then do chmod space a plus x to make it run. Um, Schedule it in cron. Cron is basically, if you're more familiar with Windows, cron is task scheduler. Um, and then three days later, <laughs> well, you don't have to wait three days. So you can set it to whatever time you want. Best thing is just to set. If you're setting it up, then just kind of set the time for five minutes in ahead of whatever the time is now. And then you can just see if it runs. Um, you don't want to wait a day to see if it runs or not and then find out it didn't work because otherwise time means money and all that doesn't it so anyway that's um, that's that and if you want to look at all the notes for it scrapey19 I'll put the notes down below and if you want to look at what else I've been doing with this I've already written in jobs if you go into here you'll see the pipelines um, which I've already set up 
I'll just show you Job's diagram actually. This was my original um, plan. So Linux laptop or PC was going to go off to get that, but now I've actually removed that. So now the Pi actually runs Postgres server and Scrapy. It goes off to Jubal. Jubal's got some third party sites. So it goes to Jubal and then it um, goes off to the other sites. That's why I'm having to just look for paragraph text on any of the pages. So whatever site it goes to, it'll be getting the paragraph text. Um, because I don't know how many different third party sites Jubal will ever redirect to. So if you're not wanting to do this, uh, the, the traditional scrapey way, the other good thing you could do is look at Advertools. Um, I've already done a couple of videos on Advertools, but if you look at Advertools, um, it actually extracts text for you without having to do any XPaths or any, right, any selectors of your own, really. So um, I'll just show you that. Uh, it's down here somewhere, I think. No, it's at the home page. I think it's in the readme down here somewhere. Um, yeah, SEO crawler. Um, yeah, there we go. Standard SEO elements extracted by default. Title, header tags, body text. So if you're doing a project where you're scraping many, many sites, 50 or 100 sites, and obviously you, you can't get the selectors for all of those. So um, yeah, Advertools would be a very good alternative to Scrapey, which is, Advertools is built on top of Scrapey anyway. So if you're familiar with Scrapey and you just want to cut to the chase and run a crawler without sort of writing too many selectors, then Advertools is very good and I really recommend it. So thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with something else and subscribe, comment, like, because of the algos and all that. Yeah, all right, thank you.